Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations Infernal Mode. Let's continue, shall we? Seems to be the right thing to do. Uh, I think we're about to go join Chris. Possibly. Oh, no, we're not. Getting ahead of myself. Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey. No one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. Right. Is that the lock? I'll check it out. Well, yeah. let's go have Let's a little look, shall we? Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. I wouldn't actually mind to switch up my uh, weapons, to be honest. But for now, let's just keep moving forwards. I don't really want this weapon, to be honest. Or my magnum. Let's go have a look at uh, Totally Not Chris. So I've Found Chris, Ooh, hello. In there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. Yeah, so I've just been talking to my buddy. Jimmy fails, and uh, they're giving me some good tips. Give me some good tips for this run. Um and that message just said this game is a lot scarier thinking about it than actually doing it on this difficulty. And yeah, yeah, actually, I actually, I get that. That does make sense. Okay. Because even if you die in this game, it, it sucks. And I can imagine it's going to get frustrating. But, you know, you don't really lose a lot of progress from what I can remember. I think the checkpoints are fairly generous. So, I actually um, did quite a lot of this playthrough yesterday. And then I've just, I've just started to try it again. Start from scratch. With the knowledge that I have now. Going forwards. Yeah, there, yeah. That thing. That thing's fun. Oh, did I say fun? Uh, I meant that thing's painful. That thing is a potential insta kill. Uh, we we don't really want that if we can help it. To be honest, yeah, I don't think so, friend. I'm pretty sure. Oh, is there not one around there? I thought there was one around that corner. I'm kind of glad there wasn't one around that corner. That would have been a little bit uh, uncomfortable, should we say? Right, let's keep scanning. Keep scanning. Pretty sure there was an item back there. Uh, there was one. I like the way these items are on the life raft. Machine gun ammo. It's quite nice. Uh, so I've been doing some research into doing a eventual. And I do mean eventual. It could be years away. Uh, just because of my schedule. Hello. Sounds like we're not alone. Yeah, an eventual um, village of... Soros Run, or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, this doesn't bode well. Oof. Yeah. Well, Rachel, we hardly knew you. But we will. We'll get to know you a little bit later on. So I'm thinking about doing Resident Evil Village in the hardest difficulty. Um, but from what I can understand, uh, from looking at a lot of guides and stuff, they recommend uh, unlocking all of the infinite ammo stuff and blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, one of the, I think it was, it wasn't the IGN guide, it was Resident Evil uh, Resource or something, was saying it's kind of essential. So, obviously, I'm going to have to play through that game a couple more times, which is fine, but it's just, again, it comes down to having time. Right. Now, another good tip, actually, that Jimmy gave me. Was trying to... Ah, oh, shit. That was not good. Trying to scan everything. Now, it seems obvious, but... 
Oof. Survivor. The BOW's got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Yeah, so it sounds obvious, but um, what they mean is that percentage will go up to, you know, 100%. But if you already have maximum amount of herbs... <laughs> yeah, I know. Maximum amount of herbs on this mode. Um, it will actually keep that in the bank. And it will only give you that herb uh, once you need it. So, yeah. So, it's still worth scanning things. If you uh, already have the max amount of herbs. Right, so we've got our crew quarters key. I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the crisis room. See you there. Okay. Right, let's keep going. Let's go. So now we've got to go link up with our friend Parker. Now, unfortunately, there's a whole barrel load of enemies between us and Mr. Parker. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm not mad. Not even mad. Because you can only die once. Okay. But then, that's not strictly true, is it? Now, on easy mode, or, well, normal, there was actually uh, an enemy that comes out of there. But, for some reason, on Inferno, there are no enemies that come out at you here. They're all in that room. The room that we've already been through. The locker room. The toilet. Yeah, they're all in there. Uh, and uh, a G Titan, how many could there possibly be? <laughs> well, viewer, I'm glad you asked because I'm going to show you how many there are. And there's more than a couple. More than a couple. Oh, and there's also that instant kill death enemy. Yeah. Did we mention him? Pretty sure we should have mentioned him. Right. So, let's keep this party wagon going. Oh, hello. I actually forgot there was enemies there. Interesting. Well, let's knock these guys down. Luckily, this rifle is a one-hit kill against these things. Actually, we could probably get past this guy. There's no point wasting the bullets. There we go, that'll do. Ooh, just get a couple of cheeky little scans in there. Now this is going to be something. Hello. Come at me, bro. Ooh, Jesus. Just run. Just keep running. Yep, I thought I was going to get grabbed that. Not going to be able to avoid all of these gentlemen. But that's okay. That's okay. That's the nasty bastard right there. He can kiss my ass as we swagger out of there. Yeah, it could have been could have been better. Kind of did whiff a dodge there, but it is what it is. Right. Now, what I like about this rifle is it will go through multiple enemies. So, that's going to save us a little bit of time. You know what? For good measure. Let's get rid of him. Surely you're just wasting ammunition, Titan. Well, not quite, because now we've got corpses to scan. Now, corpses don't give you as much... Uh... Of the good stuff as the living enemies do but you know a little is better than nothing you know okay I don't think there's anything else down here I'm not sure if like any uh, items respawn like if you've already, say we've already been through here and uh, if we come back here I do love the way the blood defies physics there marvelous but yeah I don't know if we come back through here later and there's different items have spawned here not sure but I guess we're gonna find out come on. We gotta help Chris. 
Timon! Hello, buddy. Nice to meet you. Let's go see Not Chris. Chris? What is this? Hmm? What is this? <gasps> a trap? It's a trap. No. Mr. Not Hunk. So, episode one, Into the Depths. That's episode one done, I believe. Okay. Hey, we got an S rank. Interesting. We died? Did we? Okay. Well, I mean, obviously we did, because it says we did. I can't remember where we died. Oh, yes, I do. I remember. Uh, in the kitchen. Right. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Yeah, I don't understand why we get these. Contact with Chris and Jessica. The signal was lost over the ocean. The recaps. They really wanted this to be a film. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. I think it's a gun. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? Chris! What is this? What is this? Great. <laughs> it's a trap! The truth. It's Valentine. So, I don't, I don't get those. I mean, they really wanted this to feel like an episodic uh, series. Now, in Revelations two, it makes a little bit more sense because that was released in episodes. So, having, I think, did they do it every week or was it every month? I can't remember, but it made sense to have. Um, those uh, recaps, you know. Whereas in this, it's just weird. It kind of, um, they did this in 08 as well, in Alone in the Dark 08, and it was shit then, too. weather but I still can't make contact with HQ who'd have thought we'd be stuck out here for so long sorry about that there's a strange breeze blowing in here and I can't understand why I did have a panic there and I thought the front door was open oh god here we go here's Jessica and well isn't she a peach she's a very annoying character I don't think she's the worst. Uh, we've definitely had worse characters in Resident Evil. Um, you know. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> and Steve. But. I'm certainly not buying the fact. <gasps> that she's supposed to be some expert agent. And the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. Yeah, I'm not buying that, like, whatsoever. So, it's uh, it's a bit strange, to say the least. 
she's just really whiny and really bratty. There's something that's definitely not um not not good. Not fun with her character. Now that is quite a mess. I will say, you know, considering this is a 3DS game that's been polished to 1080p 60. This particular scene here looks rather good, you know. And one good thing about this game. Investigate the site. Let me know if you find anything. Right, let's have a look. One interesting good thing about this game is I remember during the promo, uh, we were kind of given the impulse or the impression that this game was going to be all aboard the ship. Now, you actually do get to a hell of a lot of uh, different areas in this game. There's a lot of different areas. Now, I think we can open this. We can, but we're not going to open this because there's some gunk in there that we can scan. Now, we're going to come back here as two characters later on. Uh, and we're going to, if we scan that now, we can't scan it with them. So, uh, they're going to need the herb more than we are, I think. So, what have we got here? On handling the new prototype. There will be a new prototype introduced on this mission. You get self aware game. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution. When handling the special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. In the event of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the hazards and emergency manuals. Once the prototype's abilities have been activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedatives must be administered every hour during transport. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. When control is no longer viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. Yes, just to be told, yeah, sorry guys, just shout out of luck, you're about to die. Now, there's actually not a very interesting... Uh, I don't think that's referencing a very interesting prototype anyway. If you notice, there's a big old cage there. Look at this. Spilling all these BOWs into the wilderness. Oops. Right. Now, I think we can... Yeah, we can open that as well, I think. I'm not sure. Actually, I think we... It's marked with the biohazard symbol. Yeah, so we can... Actually... We can actually open these, but I'm not sure if we can scan them. Yeah, we can actually scan those, but we're not going to. I mean, this section's not too bad. We might die a few times here, but it's not bad. The game definitely gives you all the tools you need. Just need to be very thorough with our scanning. Hey, bud. Looks like you uh, you crash your plane. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. Flight plan. Can we actually look at that? Can we look at that? I actually, can type of flight IRF. Okay, just tells us where it's going. Coin and Mock Airport. If that's where they are, this mine should take us there. Yay! We get to go through a mine. That's wonderful. With all these BOWs on the loose. Excellent. What could possibly go wrong, right? I think there's a handprint in there as well, but uh, I've got that one. All right. Come on, Jess. Let's go hopefully not get horribly murdered by Jessica, a new BOW. A Hold on. That's it, Chris. Just keep puffing your pipe weed. I actually really like that um, outfit that Jess is wearing, that suit. It's this cave is too cold. the only outfit she has that I like. 
Yeah, Chris does not need thermal underwear. Although we don't know what he's packing in those shorts, but uh, yeah, probably don't want to think about that too much. I can't believe people kicked off about this outfit. I thought it was freaking hilarious. I'm all about having uh, unlockable outfits goofy. Uh, you know, give me some cool serious ones as well, but you know, nothing wrong with some goofy stuff. Right, these guys, yeah, these guys suck, by the way. Uh, you think they're infected? What gave it away? What gave it away, Chris? Is it the exposed rib cages? It is, isn't it? It's the exposed rib cages that gave it away. Right. Now these things aren't that strong. Looks that way, doesn't it? Then Veltro is back from the dead. Yeah. And we have to stop them before anyone gets hurt. Oh, we'll stop them. Don't you worry about that. I mean, you stopped Wesker. But have we stopped Wesker at this point? In the timeline? I can't remember. Hello, you. Fido. Yep. The big doggies are the ones to be careful of. The standard ones um, stereos. The standard ones aren't too much to worry about, but the big, big, big pooches, well, they're not, not a joke. I can hear more. Oh, hey. Hi, chap. Ooh, yes. Yes, managed to scoop that up there. Right, okay. Well, I guess that's all of them. <laughs> oh, sweet summer child. Cool. Handgun bullets, lovely. We're going to need these handgun bullets soon. Now, on normal difficulty, there's loads of ammo here. But uh, you might have noticed, we're not, we're not playing normal. We've got our big boy pants on today. Not that there's anything wrong with playing with normal. I play basically all of my games on normal. Okay. No issues with anybody playing on easy either, to be honest. Play what you enjoy. Ow. Might not have been worth it, to be honest. Anymore? Uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, that might not have been worth it because now we have to pop a hill. Shouldn't really be healing there, but you know. Right. Now, these decoys, we're going to be using a few of these and a green herb as well, so that's fine. How's our Genesis? Oh, one zero. It's unfortunate. really unfortunate but that's okay this bit's gonna get rough ow thanks thank you now we need to kind of save our decoys reload ow kind of need to save our health as well but Ow! Actually, Jess, thanks for the save. Appreciate it. Right, there's some should be some goodies around here. Actually, did a far better job on this bit <laughs> in my last playthrough. Well, I mean, technically, we haven't finished yet. I did die quite a few... Well, I say quite a few times. I think I died twice on a bit coming up. But it wasn't bad. 
I certainly thought it was going to be harder than it actually was. Two handgun bullets. Okay, let's grab the shotgun shells. We'll have those. Right, so we can't pick that up. Alright. How many decoys do we have? Two. Was what? Stay focused. She was your partner before, right? Yeah, my partner from before. What about it? <laughs> you know, just asking. Look, we all know you're on a piece of Chris, alright? Chris isn't exactly leaving much to the imagination right here. But uh, try not to compare yourself to Jill, Jessica, because I'm sorry, but you just can't win. Wow, there really is a lot of health around here. Not sure I found all of this last time. I may have, I can't remember. Okay. More handgun bullets. We're going to need as many handgun bullets as we can get, that's for sure. We're going to want as many decoys as we can get, too. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I, d I definitely didn't have this much stuff last time. <laughs> I think I had two herbs. So maybe I am doing a, just a smidgen better. Hang on, bullets. Not everything. So we've got max hang on bullets. And we got we got five decoys. Yeah, I think we had five last time. That's fine. Right, let's go. Oh, Chris. You big old lug. Yeah, it's just my leg and my spine. And other bodily parts. Apart from that, we're good. Right, so every time that was a bit premature. It was very premature. Sometimes they take two, sometimes they take three. Why now of all times? Well, why not? Yeah, those big guys. It's the big doggos that are going to do the damage. We're doing okay. We've got plenty of decoys left. Let's pop one. Oh, come on. Yeah, can we not talk about your sweet ass? Somebody is definitely... Oh, oh, God, pop it. Pop the big boy. Oh, hello. You know what? Pop another one. You can shut up. Oh, come on. Oh, getting twitchy. Getting twitchy. Oh no. Oh no. No, it's all going wrong. No, we're good. Notice how they're all after Chris. Can you stand? I think so. Thanks. I'll be okay. <clears throat> Sorry to bring this up again, but Bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? There's no need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through actions, not words. That's so like you, Chris. It's always about the job, isn't it? Of course it's always about the job. Also, humans don't talk like this, Jess. Especially not professionals. Come back to me when you've got something worthwhile to say. I'm just saying. I 
I think it's fair to say that Chris and Jill do have an unbreakable bond, yes. But that should be obvious. Ah, this is the end anyway. Look, is that the airstrip? That's their hideout. This is Forkball. Do you read? Forkball. I read you, sir. Are you all right? Where are you? The interference here killed our signals. We're at Valcoin and Mock Airport. Damn it. It's all a setup. What do you mean? I sent Jill and Parker to the Mediterranean on faulty intel, and now I've lost contact with them. I haven't heard from them since. How? What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. It's impossible. Brian, you're not gonna like this. We found the Veltro crest. Then stories of their resurrection are true. If that's the case, then... Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. O'Brien, well, we'll go after Jill and Parker. I hope that's not a problem. Not at all. Make your way to the Mediterranean and we'll keep you posted. Any idea what's going on? We'll sort it out later. We have to move. Hmm. Not sure, like, to be honest, they would have um, their crest or their flag just, you know, flapping in the wind, you know, with terrorists. Come look at us sort of thing. But hey, maybe they would. I mean, you know, I don't have all the answers. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to... Uh, do it for now when we come back well i think we're going to go back to the ship so till then guys thanks for watching